Hello, and welcome to our series on installing Cycloar with Habitat Home Utilities. In this episode, Jean-François Laurent walks through the second step, installing prerequisites for Cycloar installation. What I'm going to show you in this video is how you can use the utilities repo on GitHub to prepare a Windows Server machine with SQL Server already installed and get to the point where you are ready to install Sitecore. So this will take care of all of the prerequisites and it will even install a bunch of handy tools that most Sitecore developers want to have, uh, including Git, uh, VS Code, etc. So take a look and I hope you enjoy it. Now that we've set up our IaaS VM with SQL Server Developer Edition, I'm not going to set up a couple things that I generally do. I turn off enhanced configuration, uh, then I turn off the local firewall. As you saw in the previous video, the um, Azure firewall takes care of the ports uh, regardless. So we're only we only have uh, the remote desktop ports as well as AD and 443 uh, open on this one. Uh, then I turn off user account controls only because, uh, again, this is kind of a development environment and I don't care to, uh, uh, to worry about security too much. So once I've done that, uh, we can take a look at the utilities repo. That's where everything is. Now you can download it as a zip, which I have already done here, and I've extracted it uh, under C projects. Um, once I go in there, I will take a quick look at all of the uh, available items. Um, so, for example, in the prerequisites um, folder, we have a few uh, different PowerShell scripts. Install all um, runs through all the PowerShell scripts, and uh, one of them, of course, is the Chocolatey, which will install the packages that you see, uh, Google, Git, all the other tools um, that we typically want to do. Then, of course, it will install the site core pre prerequisites at the end of it, as well as all of the uh, Windows um, prerequisites, such as IIS. So now we'll start with install all. Uh, as you can see, um, it's uh, a new machine, therefore the restrictions are set up. So I am going to put bypass again. I know where all these scripts have come from and I'm comfortable running them. And now uh, there we go, we're off. We're gonna install all, we'll install the chocolatey prerequisites, go off and install all the packages, uh, all of the Windows prerequisites and end uh, at the end of this with the Sitecore prerequisites. So at this point, I'm going to do the magic of editing and some fast forwarding. As you can see, I saved you guys about eight minutes by fast forwarding. And in the meantime, I realized that I had a, an incorrect setting for the uh, Sitecore gallery. So now I'm installing the Sitecore gallery. I'm just um, basically catching up to where the script would have kept going with the install all. So install Sitecore gallery, install SIF. And then finally, the last one is install Sitecore prerequisites, which will then go through the rest of um, the required prerequisites. As you can see, it's very easy to get a brand new Windows Server with SQL Server machine installed with prerequisites and ready for a Sitecore installation. As a recap, the install all scripts takes you through all of the necessary steps to install the chocolatey packages themselves, IIS, Sitecore, SIF, as well as Sitecore prerequisites. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video.